you see other small businesses, influencers, people you follow that put out great content and it always seems on point? The colors are consistent, the text is consistent, their whole style and their whole vibe is always consistent. Well, this kind of consistency doesn't just happen and it's not by accident. But the best part is, is that you can do it too. Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up your brand kit in Canva so that you can be just as on point and just as stylish and always consistent to help grow your business and social media. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Willow and I've been using Canva for almost nine years. And now I use it daily for my business. And my channel is dedicated to sharing all the amazing things that you can do with Canva, especially for small business owners like me. So be sure to hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. Today, we're going to set up a brand kit in Canva. If you haven't designed your brand guide yet, then I suggest you watch this video next so that you can get your brand guide ready to go. So what is a brand kit? The brand kit in Canva is where you'll store all of your business assets for content creation so that you can use them within Canva to create your content, to create stationery, to create anything you need for your business. And by having your brand kit, it keeps you consistent with your style. It keeps you consistent with your colors. It even keeps you consistent with your font. Plus, a brand kit is going to save you tons and tons of time. This is truly a tool that every small business owner should have and use. So one thing about the brand kit is that it is a pro feature. You have to have the pro account in order to use the brand kit in Canva. Now I've got a link in the description below for a free 30 day trial of Canva Pro. So be sure to give that a try and see if you like the brand kit and see how much time it can save you. So let's jump into the computer and get this tutorial started. We're going to start on our Canva homepage and in the left sidebar, you want to come down to brand kit and click that button. This page will open and you'll see here I have several brand kits already. You can add additional brand kits. All you have to do is go to this button and click add brand kit. You will want to name your brand kit and this page opens. Canva breaks down your brand kit into three main items, your logo, your brand colors, and your brand fonts. So let's start with our logos. I've actually created some logos for us to use in this tutorial. Add the logo, and then I'm gonna go back and add the other logo. So when you click on that button, it opens your files, find your logo, and double click. So we've got our logos uploaded. I always upload the brand guide as well. I find this super helpful and that way I always know where to find it. Now you can see that Canva has automatically loaded some color palettes. These color palettes come from the logos and the brand guide that we've uploaded. And you can choose to keep or remove them. So this one I think we will remove because it has all of those colors in this color palette. And these two are the same, so we'll remove this color palette and then keep and keep. And now we have our two color palettes. Now, if there are additional colors that you want to add that did not automatically come up, click this button with the plus inside of it and just click and it automatically adds colors that it finds in your logo and in your brand kit. So like this purple, that's not in the brand kit, but it was found um, on the logo. So you can easily change it. All you have to do is click this button. This box will open and then change your hex code. And then for this color palette, we're going to add black. There we go. So now we have our color palettes from our brand guide and our logos. And you'll see here, you can add additional colors. 
you have a couple of options. Click this button and Canva will automatically add colors for you. And again, they typically pull them straight from the logo and the brand kit that you've uploaded. And they're very similar to what we already have. So I don't think I wanna keep this color palette. To delete it is super easy. Come to the three little dots in the upper right corner, click on that. This menu will open and now you want to click delete palette. Yes, delete it. It deletes those colors from the brand kit, not from Canva. And if you want to add additional colors that you think will coordinate well, go to this button here and click Add and Discover Palettes. This menu will open and you can scroll through all of these created palettes that Canva has in their library. And if you find one that you think would work well, click on the box and it automatically adds your color palette. If you decide once you add this color palette that it just doesn't work with the colors you already have, deleting this color palette is very easy too. Again, you just go to the three little dots in the upper right corner, click on that, the menu opens, and click delete palette click yes, delete it. And again, it takes that color palette out of the brand kit, not out of Canva. So all you're doing is deleting that color palette from the brand kit. You can add as many color palettes as you want, but keep in mind that the whole idea is to keep you on brand, keep your colors consistent. So you don't wanna to add too many color palettes. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. Now let's go over to the fonts where you have a couple of options as well. I do recommend that you watch this video using fonts for commercial use legally and how to upload them in Canva before you pick your fonts for your business. Once you've done your research and you've decided on a font, if it's a font that's not already in Canva, you'll want to click the upload a font button, go to the file where you keep your font, pick your font, double click. Canva's going to ask you, by uploading my own custom font, I acknowledge that I own the font name or have the right to use it for my intended purposes. Yes, upload away. You can see that it's uploading and now your font is added to Canva. You want to upload a second font, click the same button, font, yes, upload away, and now your font has been added. Now, this one is pretty hard to read, so I don't think I want to use it and I don't wanna keep it in my brand kit if I'm not going to use it. And to delete it is super easy. You just come over, click the trash can button, click delete font permanently, and it's gone. And yes, you could re-upload the font if you wanted to. So we can still add another font even though we've deleted one. Just repeat the same process. And now our fonts are in Canva. Now that you have your fonts uploaded, click on the text styles button. Here you can select the font you want to use for your headings, subheadings, and body style. The one thing you want to keep in mind is that no matter which font you use for which style, you want it to be readable and clear. For heading style, click on this box and then go to this drop down menu. You can pick a font that is in Canva or you can pick the font you just uploaded and that will make all of your headings automatically this font and this size. Now if you want to change the size, you can do that as well. Click on the box again and then here in this font menu, click the drop down arrow and pick the size you want your headings to automatically be. If you have a font that has the ability to be bolded or italicized, these will be options. This font is already bold and it cannot be italicized, so these are grayed out and not available. And then you can go to your add a subheading style, repeat the same process. And again, if you want to change the font size, go to this drop down and pick the size you want. Now, for add a body style, you can pick any font you want, of course, but we're gonna pick one out of Canva so that you can see what that looks like. And we'll pick this one. This is very clear and easy to read. So you'll wanna click on the box if you wanna change the size, pick your size. And again, if this font were able to be bold or italicized, these two options would be available. So now you have your brand kit. And since we've created our brand kit, I wanna show you what it looks like from the art 
smart board. And if you'll notice the first thing here in the menu, your add a heading text option, your subheading text option, and your body of text option are all the fonts that we selected in our brand kit. So when you add a heading, it automatically comes up the font that we set it to be, and it automatically comes up the size that we set it to be. And it will be the same for subheading and the little body of text. Those are the same fonts that we selected. The other nice thing about the brand kit is let's go to colors. And if you'll notice your color palette from the brand kit is right here. So you can just very quickly shuffle through your colors and you'll know if you use colors from this color palette, you are on brand and it's going to be a consistent look. And if you go to styles, you have your brand kit right here at the top. So you can basically pick a template and use the styles guide and shuffle through your colors and your fonts. It will automatically add your font. So that's a great benefit to setting up your brand kit. It saves you time and energy and frustration from having to constantly look for things. And I definitely recommend setting up your brand kit. I hope you found this tutorial super helpful. And if you did, please click the like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. And remember, creating your brand kit will really help you keep everything consistent. Everything. Colors, fonts, style will really help and save you tons of time. If you have any questions or suggestions, or if there's something you'd like to see a tutorial on, please don't hesitate to drop that in the comments below. And I'll get back to you just as quickly as I can. You'll also find a link in the description for a free 30 day trial of Canva Pro. And you wanna be sure and grab that so that you can try your brand kit and see how much it can help you. I'll also leave a link for my 223 Canva Element Keywords ebook. Be sure to grab that, it's completely free and it'll help you find tons of hidden elements in Canva. I'll be back next week with another tutorial and until then, have a great week and enjoy your Canva. Mm -hmm.